Welcome to you all to Portugal. Martin Tyler along with Alan Smith to describe the action for you from the Liga Nosh. The fans are up for it, aren't they? Really good atmosphere within this stadium and it should transmit to the players. Give us a great game. And this is the game for you today. Belenenses and they face Benfica. Benfica. You know a lot about them. Tell us what you think about their chances in this game. Yeah, this side needs a few wins, really, to uh, achieve their ambitions. Yes, they can qualify for Europe in the position that they're in, but um, really with the quality at their disposal, they were hoping for better. There's no doubt that the visitors come here not just hoping for victory, but expecting it when you look at their away record, which is the outstanding one in this league. It's been a joy to watch those six wins in the last ten games. Brilliant. This is the lineup for the home side. The system that we think they're going to go with is 4 5 1. That one striker will need a bit of support. Yeah, you do not want him to be left isolated, otherwise, this formation will not work. It's a real group mentality in this lineup about pressing the opposition into making mistakes and cashing in on it straight away. Well, it takes a lot of energy, a lot of motivation. It's easy to drop off, and when you do drop off that really aggressive closing down, that's when it can fall down. Now the game has started. Yebda. Could be a chance here. They've got the ball into a good area. Quick witted and quick in his movement too to intercept there. Going forward well. Jonas. And now he's looking for some support. Oh, he wishes he'd made it harder for the goalkeeper, I think. Pizzi. Yebda. Nice return pass. Trying to switch on the attacking power in this situation. Here's the chance. Very, very close. Just past the post. Well, I think half the crowd, you know, thought that was going to nestle in the corner of the net there. Got to keep the ball here under some pressure. Just read the intentions of the opposition there to make the interception. Well, I like the look of this attack. Well, that pass never looked like reaching its target, and they're away with the ball. Eduardo Salvio. Now here's a chance to get at the opposition. Taking on the defenders. Well, that's not a problem for the defender. He can deal with it easily. Pizzi. Here's a chance to attack. 
was an opportunity to really put some pressure on the defenders, but the ball was a woeful one, too high. Tizzi. Shots on him. He's blocked the shot well on the move and able to cut out the pass. Excellent interception. Guiding it through the defenders. There's good progress with this attack. Goalkeeper hangs on. Can find some space here on the flanks. It's an excellent cross. And they get it away. Not a high-risk manoeuvre, but slightly risky. Trying to keep the ball here and risk losing it in the defensive third. well to intercept the referee has chosen to add on two extra minutes two minutes of added time neatly intercepted stopped emphatically well, we're halfway through and we haven't yet got a goal to bring to you nil nil at half time they've come across town here for the derby at the moment neither sets of fans and be sure of whether they're going to be happy or sad at the end of the game. Level at half-time. Yeah, it has that feel. Both sets of players just scared of making a mistake, I think. So much at stake. It's an old cliche, but the bragging rights are up for grabs. So the referee's happy, and the second half gets underway. Tipsy. Really getting at the opposition this far up the pitch now. They spread it out wide here. Chance to get some width into this attack. Proper tackle, that. Yebda. That's a great interception. Well, we've got a substitution now. Well, they're in a good position here. Hit the post. Jonas! That's a great finish for the first goal of the day. What a strike on the volley. Well, there's no finer sight in football than to see somebody catch the ball flush like that. The goal, wherever you look at it, it was very well taken.
So the first goal, it's 1-0. Goal for the visitors, number 10, Jonas. Moving forward with some danger to the opposition, now they're here. He's very confident with the ball at his feet. Looks at, this might be it! And they have scored! And they do lead now by two. And they've worked very hard for this. It should get them across the line at the end of the match, we'll see. Well, scoring in any game is worthy of celebration. When you get two, it is special. And he is feeling that special delight at the moment. And here is another angle on that goal. Just widen the margin here to 2 0. For the visitors, number 10, Jonas. Jonas. And here are Benfica on the attack. Well, that's not so much an interception as a poor pass. Nice interplay between the two of them. Trying to open up the defence with that through ball. The defence wouldn't be opened up, though. Whipped in from the wide area. Cleared away by the defender. Some options now for the pass. That's a wonderful tackle. Jonas. In with a chance. And in it goes towards the far post. But it's rather skewed off his head in the end. Yeah, he, uh, he didn't catch it properly. I think he probably closed his eyes there. Well, they're still trailing and they need to do something now if they want to get back into this game. Maybe some fresh legs will do the trick. Played forward, a bit of menace in this attack. Benfica have the ball. It'll be a throw. I think the uh, manager's decided he wants to let the player have a great individual reception, which he wouldn't get at the final whistle. He's uh, getting an ovation now as the substitution is made. Yeah, and well deserved too. A strong contender for man of the match. Ronnie. They could have played the attacker in now. goalkeeper beautifully guided past the goalkeeper well, that's the end of the heroics at least in this attack he couldn't come up with the answer having been left exposed yet again yeah and the look of disgust from him and his defenders and I think that's fair comment because they've just left him We go again, 2-1. Eduardo Salvio. Jonas. Well, he tried his luck from a long way out, but the goalkeeper had no problems at all. The supporters, Alan, trying to play their part here and lift the home team. Yeah, I think they believe, Martin. The question is, do those players down on the pitch believe as well here 
really getting at the opposition this far up the pitch now. Good deep cross towards the... The keeper might be needed again, he didn't hang on to the ball. Put into the middle. There's still danger here after this half clearance. Eduardo Salvio. Promising build-up until that challenge. Proper tackle, that. It has indicated there will be a minimum of three minutes of added time. Eduardo Salvia. Going forward well. Going to try one now. And they managed to score here. They're in, they've scored, they're surely home and dry. Pretty straightforward this match, and the late goal sums it up, really. Yeah, they just compounded their superiority with that one. Well, here's the goal again. Three one the scoreline as we restart the game. Number eighteen, Eduardo Salvia, and the whistle's gone for the last time today. Well, they've got the lot. They've got the win against their bitter rivals today. Their local rivals. Splendid satisfaction. Oh yeah, I mean the build-up to this match has been endless. It seems so. A lot of pressure on both sides for the winners now. Total glory. Well, they have been very good on the road. They've been very good away from home again today. Yes, yeah, some really good counter-attacking football we saw out there and deserved winners.